All right, so can you, can we repeat the question because they obviously can't hear. Okay, yeah. so Liz is basically asking, would you be a man getting? Sorry, would you let a woman take care of you? Is that what you're asking? And they're not, and they're, and they're, and they're not sacri- and sacrifice the sexual, and they're not sexually pleasing you as best as they could. Um, this is not a good question for me personally. No, no, I, I'll yeah, say no straight up because yeah. personally, because I don't give a fuck about your money. So, exactly. I could go make my own. And I yeah. am a very prideful person. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> Personally, I can't. Nah. Like, I'm not. So, what yeah. do you think as men? Okay, sorry, this is two questions. But what no, that's fine. As men, about men who are okay with that and will do that. Or, like, niggas who walk around and they bitch take care of them and they ain't shit. They're beta fucking soy boys. Hey, w- they're beta soy boys. If the men that walk around, I can't even call them men. The men that walk around that actually have women fucking take care of them and shit like that, they're not real men. I'm like, no. So you don't think this, so would you would you associate with that person to tell them about themselves? Like, yeah, it's not my place. It's not my place to tell them that. It's not my place to tell them that. But I mean, I'll tell you this though. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, um, that probably can work, but that can only work so often because women love hypergamy. Yeah, we I think we spoke about that. Huh? The definition is that women uh hypergamy is uh women are always sexually uh, at time like mostly sexually attracted to higher status and men who are like higher than them in status wise. And then what happens is when you have a woman that takes care of you and you are the I guess the beta of the relationship, it can work. It can work. I'll tell you this. It can work only if the woman actually respects you still as a man. Yes. When the woman takes away that fucking respect and emasculates you and just disrespects you and not has not have respect for you as a man, that's where shit goes goes to hell. Yeah, I I, I do agree. You become a cuck basically. Basically, <laughs> but, yeah. but do Simple. you have do you have respect for yourself as a man? That's the question. Well, that's, that's the question for these individuals. Um. Well, that's also subjective too because they wouldn't be in that position if they actually had respect for them as a man. They would never ever put themselves in that predicament having a woman taking you know respectfully. All right. See you. You put in other factors. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm now you're talking about sugar. <laughs> now you're talking about sugar baby. Like no, no, no. She's you know saying you. If you marry a woman, and you're a house husband, would you be a house husband? Right. Personally, no. I I come from a very hardworking family to the point where if we're not working, we're out of balance. You know what I'm saying? It, that in itself is bad. So I cannot sit around the house. Like my pops has recently retired. He was a handyman. Basically built our old house from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Bought a house and fix it up. And now he's retired. He still can't sit still. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, that pride is going to creep up. You may suppress it and say, oh, you know, I'm a house husband. My wife got it. The years down the line, it's going to creep up and it's going to come out in the worst way. Because every man has pride, but they deal with it differently. So I personally, I don't think it can work in the long run. Early, Like everybody said, oh, yeah, I'd love to have a woman take care of me, da, da, da. In the essence, it's fine, but... Much years down the line, you're gonna be like, damn. Then when, where did when my she manhood start, go? Where, when you know she starts checking your fucking manhood, exactly. That's what and I'm saying. Shit goes awry. She she come that she come home from work that one day. Why did shit not clean? You are gonna snap your head like, okay, nah, this is not what I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I but, thought but I, we we you, outlier. You thought though. you were gonna that's be why, a that's man fucking and broke still, exactly. But She's we're always gonna have that upper hand over you, dog. But we're outliers. Think about it. Look 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 at us. Look at where we at. Look at what we doing. Mm. Like we're ambitious niggas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and Some niggas not ambitious in so and whatever we, the reason we, we, is. So, here, is, what here, it is. Here, mm, you know what? A nigga has drive and be ambitious and all of that and still be broke. So you can be ambitious. Yeah, facts. That is. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that that yeah. uh, that don't really that don't really mean too much to me. Because, but it's not it's not a it's not a permanent situation. Right, not, right. Yeah. Point yeah. In time. yeah. I, I just feel like as a man, that pride is gonna creep up eventually. A year down the line or 10 years out of the line. Yeah. And facts. It, it's going to come out in the worst way. You might resent her. You might treat your kids badly. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, because as a man, you're a man. And certain things as men, we have to have, we have to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, like if, if, if my girl had Beyonce money and she was just like, yo, babe, I got it. Personally, no. I, I, I would still have to do something. Like, I, would, I, just I would still, can't sit I would around, still have like, to do something. And, 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 
No, I'm, I'm not gonna be Yo, a hold on, 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 hold on. She's still my wife. Let's put you on the mic real quick. I'm still gonna do marriage stuff with her. Where's the mic? Where's the mic? Welcome, Liz. Well, welcome, Liz. Thank you. She was actually low key expecting this too. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's she's already itching. She's already like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just like to talk and I'm hearing it and I'm like, I have opinions, I have thoughts. Could keep my mouth shut. That's all good. Standard woman. <laughs> <laughs> Talking like she a Camry or something. Standard Camry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we, we was talking about this the other day when you was like, um, you know, how, how you feel about you know, when people are afraid of their of their partners, like like their partner could just do anything they want because the financial dynamic is just so skewed in one person's direction. Like that only happens when your power has a price and they can mm. they can do something for you to the point where you just give them all your power and you have none left for yourself and that's when they get to start using you as a doormat that's when they get to start making the rules but there's some people that will always hold on to their power like it doesn't matter like you know how many <laughs> you know how many um just regular regular waitresses have turned down millionaires and billionaires just that I know mm. because they're just like yo I, you, you, you're not going to buy me I got my own thing loaded I'm not quitting school I'm not quitting my job like I'm still going to have my own shit and Let's bring it closer and these, these women they don't have no price at least not in that sense and the the dudes with the money they still pursue them yeah because that's all they know they they don't. I, we spoke about it a couple podcasts ago. Like they don't know how to walk up to a woman and spit game. That well, is like million dollars. What you want to do? Well, peep game though. At some point, they they okay. they might actually end up making some headway, and yeah. they they find themselves in a situation. They find themselves in a little uh, relationship or situationship, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that only happens because she established certain rules, and she held on to her power. He couldn't take that from her, so he had no choice but to come to the table and respect her as an equal, even though the finances were so skewed in his favor. Mm. So it, it doesn't matter where the money's at. It matters where the power's at. And if you let go of yours, then all bets are off. Yeah. It'll be hard to get that back if you get it back. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to get it back from him. Yeah. True. So, so, so it's a power dynamic. Thing. Yeah. It's, ask it's ask, the, dynamic. ask the, the question, the last question you had, please. The, the last question is, I can't remember. She got a new question now. Okay, yeah. Right. Or oh, another, oh, another question. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Let, let, let's, let's do it. One more question. 